Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1167. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we're going to go back to 1165. We're trying to get from the test scores a total. But if the final is greater than the smallest one, then we substitute that in. Now, I went ahead and did this formula. And what we did is we took the sum and then we added. Well, we took the difference between the final and the min, which would be 67 minus 7, which is 60. And we had to run a comparative operator to say, are you less than 0? Because when it's not bigger than any other ones, we get a negative. Then if it's true, we put a 0. Otherwise, we ran this test a second time. And Adam Goodrich at YouTube, our awesome online Excel team, came up with a great solution. Now let's just do the final minus the min, because that's the difference. And we'll notice, those are all relative cell references, Control Enter, double click and send it down, that when we want to add the difference to the total, because if we've already added 7, all we need is the difference to get to the total of 67. But anytime the actual final is less than any of them, we get a negative. And watch what Adam did. He says, well, I'm just going to take that and say, give me the max of 0 in the first number, comma, second number is the difference. So check this out. In aggregate functions, you can slap as many different things, ranges, calculations, numbers in, and it will obey. So now when I Control Enter and double click and send it down, that is a substitute for the if. And what's cool about it is that we didn't have to you know, run this comparative operator, which is an extra calculating step. And if this came out false, we had to run the whole thing a second time. Over here, we just run it once. And the max says, am I going to take that or 0? And then we simply say the sum of that right there, close parentheses. Actually, I'm not going to close parentheses. I'm going to comma. And we'll do the same trick. We'll have a range there. And in the second number argument, we'll have that whole max min calculation. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2. It's all working. Man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Adam. We'll see you next trick.